everybody welcome to the channel another cat d2 walk around for you this one's a 5u pretty clean looking unit it says 1951 we'll have a look at the number see if we can see it fairly dark we got a 5u 8773 so that would put it squarely in the 51 range mine is number 7066 and i know mine's a 51 so this is pretty close to being a twin to it This one has CAT 44 hydraulic unit on the front. This is the type that splits the hydraulic lines and they go down each side. So it's a bit of the earlier version. The 44 I have has all the lines going down one side then it splits on the fender. That's where the hydraulic takeouts are, where the hydraulic lines would come over to a blade. Otherwise pretty standard arrangement, same toolbox on the fender. Air cleaner in front of the operator. I see we got an extra PTO lever here. Let's look, look at what's on the back. Yep, it has the CAT 6 spline PTO and the shield is in place yet. It's got the original style keepers on the drawbar to keep it from swinging. Wear shoe is still under it. Even looks like the standard CAT uh, drawbar pin is in there yet. Those usually always got thrown away. Seat tank again looks pretty good. Still see some of the original lettering on there. Buy clean fuel, keep it clean. And they got a toolbox on the other side. Lots of storage capacity there. Looks like we got 12 inch wide track pads on it. Rails are looking pretty tall yet too. That's a good thing. Sprocket's pretty good. Track tins all in place, covers front and rear. Upper carrier rollers. Idlers look just as good. I'd say a fairly stand up unit all in all. Rope start pony motor, that's where the electric starter would be if it had electric start. This is just the rope style, you wrap around the flywheel, give it a pull. What we got on the back here, it's like an old uh, Baker Manny scraper. Chain drive. Ground driven wheels drives the train, chain, sorry. Chain drives the sprocket, sprocket winds the other style chain. Actuates the bowl, scooping, loading, carrying, and dumping. Operator sits on the back. Now, I'm not even gonna hazard a guess at uh, what the pedal and the lever and the other lever does. I've never run one of these, but. One interesting thing about these scrapers, they all had hitches on the back. So that you could actually hook multiples of these in a series behind a single machine. I've seen archive photos of Cat 60s that have three, four, five of these in a, in a string behind. Now see here this lever comes up. We have some kind of a release clutch here. had a little bit of welding going on. That's understandable though. Anyway, 5U Caterpillar D2 with Baker Manny Scraper. Thanks for watching everybody.